Hey guys, welcome to another texture pack video. This time around, I'm going to be showing you four perfect UHC texture packs that you can download in the description. If you end up enjoying the video, all I ask is that you like and subscribe. Check out my Lunar Cosmetics in the description. And yeah, uh, we're just going to get right into it. So the first pack we're using is Crimson 64X. Now this pack is good for UHC, so for the people that play UHC watching this video, I'd definitely recommend downloading it. The sword has this really cool design where on the left it has like the white glow. I also like how the bow draws off screen so you can't see like the back of the bow if that makes any sense. I feel like that should be a thing in every pack, but I feel like at the same time it's just because I have 1.7 animations on. So uh, I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, I definitely like the bow and the sword. Also, it's got this custom sky and it looks really good. Also, the armor has multiple shades of red, so it isn't just like a really boring armor design, I guess. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got these black and red particles as well. And let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. Now, if you're interested in any of the other textures, then I'm just going to show them off in this survival world. So here's all the armor. As you can tell, it does have like the default faithful tools which i don't really mind i feel like you don't really use tools unless you're playing single player so like doesn't really matter too much with these in my opinion here's all the potions the gaps i love how the potions are like really circular and then they've got like these streaks in them these little lines don't know makes like a cool design uh this ender pearl looks kind of weird with this little dot in the middle kind of looks like a nipple but um we move on. Uh, here is the particles. So you got like the red and black, which is pretty good for a red and black texture pack. Don't really see anything you can change right there. And then coming down into the blocks area, as you can tell, it's got like some good FPS blocks from like Shant V4. And here's all the ores. As you can tell, the diamonds are blue, but I think it's fine because, you know, it's not red and then you'll just get mixed up once again. Let's get on to the next one. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Will you download it? Let me know. Now, the original pack is Bob Mash. So as you can tell, we've got this gray theme going on and then you've got these super cool looking golden gapples, golden, golden gapples, golden apples and uh, the golden particles as well when you're hitting the other player. If you're in PvP and you're just crit hitting, you've got like this black and golden effect, which looks pretty nice. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Have you seen anything like this before? Do you like it? Let me know. And yeah, we're just gonna finish this guy. Just kill him really quick. Come on, let's go. So we're back in the survival world. And as you can tell, here is all the textures. I was really contemplating whether to keep these as like a purple um, but I just decided to go all in and change everything to black. It didn't really fit the theme, you know, like having full black diamond armor and then going around with a purple sword. It just didn't really look right. And then over here, you got all the potions. You got the ender pearl right there. I'm going to turn off these zombie sounds because they are getting so annoying. I decided to make the gaps like this color gold because, um, you know, they're golden apples. And most of the time, gaps just look yellow in texture packs. So I thought I'd make like a actual golden apple, you know? So there's that, and um, yeah, that's about it for those items. Then over here you've got the particles, so the black and gold. And then coming onto the blocks, I decided to keep the diamonds as like a blue, but kind of taking the saturation down a bit so they're not super bright. The reason for that is because if the diamonds were grey and you were running around in a cave, it would just look like coal, you know, or cobblestone. So it would be quite hard to tell the difference. And yeah, here's all the blocks. The lava, the water. It's also got this retro sky that I made. I just took down the saturation and that's it. So the next pack is Dragfault Frozen Cherry. Now I decided to make another recolor of Dragfault because it's got a lot of downloads now. Like it has at least 15k on the original. All thanks to Specular Potato and Specular Burrito, I think. Like they just downloaded it, used it in a couple of videos and that video now has like a lot of views so my video got a lot of views therefore a lot of people you know downloaded the video downloaded the pack not the video why would they download a texture pack video i don't know come on let's go right nice so yeah, after it got a lot of downloads, I decided to make multiple different recolors and I just decided I might as well like make it number one, you know, because if more people will use this pack, then this video is going to get clicked on a ton promoting my channel and this pack. So yeah, if you guys like it, make sure to send it to some friends 
and let me know what you think about this recolor. Is it any good? I also changed the sky in this one because a lot of the other ones just have like the normal blue sky, which doesn't really make any sense because, you know, like the recolors. I should have changed the sky and the enderpearls as well. But for this one, I've just changed the sky and not the enderpearls. Not really sure why I decided to do that, but I just don't want to change too much. want to keep it as close to the original as possible, I think. What are you doing? Building a house. Let's go. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see more recolors of this pack because I've actually done two after this one. And yeah, I can easily release those in a separate video. So let me know in the comments. So we're back into the survival world. And as you can tell, here is all the diamonds, the gold, the iron, the tools and the sword. Now, the reason the sword is a different color to the tools and the armor is because this came from dragon fruit and these came from the default pack. So when I was changing the hue on the swords and then the tools the colors were just completely different and i can make it so the sword is the exact same color as this by doing like one by one pixels at a time but it just really doesn't look good like with that color and i like to have the swords a bit different to the armor like for example if i'm here and i have like the exact same color sword as the armor i don't know it's quite dull but if you have like a slightly different color um to the armor with your sword it looks a lot better in my opinion. Then here you've got the end pearl. It's still red. I could change that in the recolors. So let me know what you guys think about that. Should I just leave it red and purple? Or should I make it a different color in every one? Let me know. So over here you've got the particles. They are just the original dragon fruit particles. But I've changed the color a tiny bit. Then down here you've got all the blocks. So you've got like these cherry pink, I guess, diamonds. It's quite hard to make it similar to this without it looking weird so we're trying to stick to the default design and not change it too much and then the sky of course is now pink instead of blue now the final pack for this video is going to be warwick blue now i've actually recolored this myself and a lot of people actually have already downloaded it but for the people that haven't this is basically a really popular UHC pack at the moment. And there's obviously multiple different recolors um, i did this one myself a long time ago and it's like one of the most popular recolors of it. There's also a red version that I believe is going to come out soon. And yeah, there's a few others. So if you're interested in this pack, you can search it up on YouTube, go in Discord, all that kind of stuff, and just ask for the recolors. And I'm sure a few people will send you different ones of it. So yeah. The reason I like this pack is because it's just original and the sword also looks really clean for a 128x pack and it just kind of works for PvP, like look how nice this sword looks, kind of goes well with my skin as well. So up here you've got all the items, everything is blue of course, these tools also look really clean. Over here you've got the gaps, the ender pearl, then here you've got the particles as well which are like star shaped ones almost like ninja shurikens kind of something like that and then here's everything else nothing too much to say about it that's about it for this hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe if you downloaded any of the packs from this video i'd appreciate it if you could comment down below and let me know which is your favorite see you later